Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, to another video. Today, I do have a pretty big haul. If you are interested in watching a clothing, makeup, accessory haul, then uh, keep on watching. So I think the easiest thing to start off with would be clothing. Probably the bigger portion of stuff that I have here. It's kind of been accumulated through the months. Let's get started with that. The first brand that I'm gonna start off with is Page Collective. I actually um, found them on Instagram and there was a dress that I was just like in love with. So I went to their page, I kind of looked around a little bit and then I found two things that I like. I didn't get the dress because it was backless and feel like I would have to wear a bra with it and I'm not about to get a sticky bra, it just does not work with me. <laughs> so I was eyeing these shackets that they have. I've really been liking really colorful pieces lately. I know that's kind of on trend. Usually I would just wear all black, but I feel like it's kind of bringing out the joy and I don't know, I feel like they're just such happy colors. I like wearing them. I actually, <laughs> weirdly, I feel odd wearing all black now for some reason, like it feels weird to me now. First one that I got is green. This is the lime color. It's so beautiful. I don't know if they're selling these specific shackets on their website anymore, but I actually got all of this stuff because it was buy two get two free so I was like okay that's a pretty good deal might as well because these jackets are $45 each I think around $40 and to me I feel like that's a lot to spend on something that I don't necessarily need but I thought since they had that deal I thought that would be cool to get it unfortunately the lime one has lost a button uh, right in between here there was a button here that just fell off. I literally have buttoned this once. I've only worn it like three or four times. <laughs> so I was pretty annoyed. I mean, I'm sure I can sew it back on. It's probably not that hard, but I'm not a seamstress. So I messaged, I emailed them and asked if I could get a replacement or if they could help me somehow with that. And they offered to send me a new one. Um, the only size that they had left was a large, which I think that would be fine because I kind of like my clothes a little more oversized, like jackets a little more oversized. But yeah, I was a little disappointed that the button fell off so easily. And then here is the pink one. I definitely like the lime color better. I feel like it just matches a lot more with the stuff that I have. I do like this pinkish purple color as well. Light purple like lavender is like kind of my favorite color right now. Same with this um, light green. I'm loving those two colors. So yeah, I really like this one. I usually just wear this around the house. I made the mistake of drying it in the dryer accidentally. So it did shrink a little bit. The arms are a little short on me now. Um, but other than that, it's perfect. It's really cozy and comfy. And then part of the buy two, get two free, it was only like a select items that you could choose for that deal. So I didn't have much of a selection to go from. I got these shorts, which they're kind of just like some lounge shorts. They have these cute buttons on the side. And then they did have a tie here, which that fell off as well. So I'm a little bit disappointed with the quality, things just falling off randomly and I've actually never even worn these so I don't know why it fell off. Other than that these are nice. They are pretty see-through so I would say these are kind of like beach cover-up shorts because they are like I think this is terry cloth or um, just lounging around the house. And then I got this sweater which came in this big bag. Again I didn't have much of a selection so I'm not too into the two other pieces that I got, but this is the sweater. It is very, very chunky knit. It's kind of like a chenille um, fabric. I'm not sure if that's exactly what it is, but that's what it feels like. The neck is pretty tight. I haven't even tried this on yet, so you'll see it in the try on portion. Next, we have some pieces from Laia the Label. I'm actually not sure if it's Laia or Leia. I feel like it's Laia. It's L-A-Y-A. I feel like it's Laia. I'm not totally sure. I should actually ask my friend. 
but this is an old friend from high school she started a clothing brand and she reached out to me asking if I wanted to be a brand ambassador so I bought one piece from her store I love it so much I if you follow me on Instagram I've literally been wearing it like all the time and promoting it non-stop because I seriously love this so much I have had to wash it a couple times um, I haven't dried it either just because I'm afraid that it's gonna shrink I feel like it probably will with the fabric that it is I'm not sure if this happens to anyone else but when I hang dry clothes they kind of get not crispy but just not as soft as they were before so that sucks if you have any tips on what I can do to keep my clothes soft that I don't put in the dryer that would be great but I love this so much it's literally one of my favorite things right now and then she sent me this dress because I was eyeing this as well but I didn't really have the funds to be like spending a bunch of money so uh, that's why I only got the one thing and then she sent me this dress too it's very cute it has an open back. I did try it on once um, and it was a little bit see-through so I would suggest wearing either a new nude bra and nude thong um, or just like pasties or something. The backless part is great because it's not it's not really like where your bra would be so you could wear a bra with this like a regular bra and you wouldn't have to be worried about your um, bra showing in the back so that's really nice. And then um, if you do want to purchase anything from Laya the Label, I do have a promo code for you. It is WINTER15 and you'll get 15% off of your purchase as well as free shipping. This is like the first time that I've ever been a brand ambassador for a brand. So it's really exciting. And yeah, so far I feel like all of her pieces have been really good quality. Again, I've only tried the two, so I can't, you know, speak to everything that they have on their site. But from what I've seen and what she showed me, it looks like it's very, very good quality. I will have my promo code below as well as her website if you want to take a look. The next few things I got from Abercrombie. First off, I have this bodysuit. I've been wanting kind of like a regular white tank top bodysuit for a while because I noticed that I'm I'm kind of tucking my shirts into my jeans sometimes. Um, I don't always like to wear crop tops. So this one's nice. I do really like it. The only thing that I can say is it's a thong bodysuit so it makes it a tad bit uncomfortable. I feel like they kind of can ride up pretty easily and it just gets uncomfy. But other than that, I really like this. I'm very cute. And then next I have this knit midi skirt and it has a slit on the side where is it and it has a little slit on the side here as well i have been loving this it's so comfy um it's very easy to kind of wear this casually without it being super dressed up so i've been wearing this with like a t-shirt tied up at the top with sneakers um or you can wear it with doc martens you can wear it with heels dress it up it's so so cute and it's very thick so you don't have to be worried about it being see-through. I love this so much. I think it was clearance, so hopefully it's still available if you guys are interested, but <sighs> very cute. And next, this was kind of a risky, <laughs> a risky buy on my part. I don't really know if I'll, I'll be comfortable wearing these at any point. They're very cute, but I feel like these on me at least they'll only kind of look good if i wear them in like a dressier sense like with heels maybe there are these flared pants and then they have a slit on the front like that and they're very 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 high-waisted so i think that these would be cute best on me maybe dressed up a little bit uh but they're they're very cute and they're very thick as well but they're really cute and they make the booty look I think any flared pants make the booty look great. And next I have two kind of rogue items. <laughs> First one is from Target. It is this like halter top, I guess. It's so cute. It has some openings in the front. I think you'll be able to see it better when I try it on, but it has some openings here. I think this is one that you can wear it multiple ways as well. So you can wear it around the neck like that. You can wear it like crossed in front of the neck. It's very, very cute. I like this a lot. 
And next, this is something that I thrifted off of Vinted, it's the app that I use to sell um, all of my clothing that I don't want anymore. I use that in Poshmark, but I primarily buy on Vinted because the shipping is much faster and much cheaper. Um, so I got this. I think I got it for $5. It's a Topshop cardigan. It's super long. It's very, very cozy. The only thing that I don't like is that these sleeves are so, so tight and then they like go up and kind of puff out in the middle. And I don't really like the way that looks. So the time that I did wear it, I kind of just folded these and it looked a little better. I completely forgot this one <laughs> in the try on portion. <laughs> Next, we're gonna talk about accessories. I have a few things here. First, I've shown this on Instagram already, but I'm just so obsessed with this. It's so cute. Sorry if I look down, Tyson's right here. It's so cute. It is a Beats case. It's a little Bulbasaur. So cute. I've always loved Pokemon, but I just, I saw this on Amazon. No, Robert saw this on Amazon. <laughs> like he showed it to me and I was like, I need this. I feel like I'm saying so cute to everything. It's probably very annoying. Next are a few things I got from Amazon. I have these hair clips. I really like this color the best. These are super cute too, but they're just a little bit bold for me. These ones are really cute. I have them in my hair right now. Let me see if I can show you. They're kind of falling down. I think they're really cute, but I don't know if they're really the greatest at holding your hair up. The brand is Sincerely Jewels. It was $6 for this pack of six. I don't know if I'll be able to link this stuff. Um, Marshalls does have a website, but they don't have everything that they sell in the stores on there. So I will try to link everything in this haul if I can. And then I also got these uh, hair clips from them as well. So cute, I love these. Um, they're very big, so they kind of fit all of my hair. And then next, I got a necklace from Target. I've been wanting like a pearl beaded necklace for a while. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna keep this one because it has like a few beads in here that I'm just not really into. It has this like rhinestone one right there in the middle. I'm not really into that. And then just some of like the colors, like this fake turquoise thing that we got going on here. I'm not sure if I'm into that either. She's cute. I just, I don't know. I don't know if the beaded necklace thing is me. I love this one that I got from Red Tail Jewelry. I found her on Instagram. She like handmade this. It's so beautiful. I love this one so much. It's like my favorite necklace right now. I don't know. I think I might return it. It was $17 too. A lot. Next, we're gonna go on to like beauty, um, makeup, skincare, all that kind of jam. First, I wanted to talk about Dossier. Pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. I have worked with them before in the past. Um, another haul that I have on my channel, I mentioned them as well. Um, this is the second time that I've worked with them. These two, I actually picked based on fragrances that I've smelled before and that I've loved. So if you don't know, Dossier is a brand that actually kind of makes fragrances, affordable fragrances based on and inspired by high-end fragrances. So basically, I think they're all around $30 per bottle and they are 1.7 fluid ounces. So it's a really good size for $30. And then you kind of, you know, you can just pick whichever one you want or you can pick one based on um, a fragrance that you like that's super high-end and pretty expensive. So you can get um, kind of the scent for a better value. I really, really like this brand. The ones I got are seriously spot on to the fragrances that they're supposed to be, you know, kind of like mimicking. The first one I got is Fruity Magnolia. This one is inspired by Bright Crystal by Versace, which I had before. I had that fragrance while I was while I was living in Utah, and then I think I left it there when we moved. I think I left it there accidentally because I have not had it since. It is, oh my God, it's so amazing. I love this one so much. I really like that fragrance. It's pretty strong, so I don't know if it's kind of would be everyone's cup of tea, but I love it so much. And it's also kind of nostalgic. Like, it reminds me of Utah, because that's what I wore there. So it's a little nostalgic as well. Second one that I got is Floral Violet. This one is inspired by Marc Jacobs' um, Daisy, which is a scent that was so popular when I was in high school. It's a very subtle floral smell and I just, I love it so much. 
it is very nostalgic too. One of my best friends in high school, she wore this all the time and I was always jealous. Oh my God, it smells so good. But they're like for real on point, like so on point. I don't know how they do it. I don't know if they um, like, I don't know if they just know the notes that are in the other fragrances and that's how they get it so spot on or if they're like just going like mixing different things and trying to get the right outcome. I don't know, but it's seriously spot on and it's amazing. These were gifted to me, um, as I mentioned before. This is not a paid sponsorship, but these were gifted and I do have a promo code. I am actually not sure if it's the same as last time, but I'm pretty sure that it is winter 10. Um, that would be 10% off of your purchase. I'm not sure if free shipping is included. I'll have to double check and then I'll kind of make a note right here and let you know but my promo code will be in the description as as well as the link to their website i have a few other beauty related products that i want to show you i do have this shampoo and conditioner this is the chi brand i got these from marshall's which is where i always get my shampoo and conditioner um, now that I've been getting my hair done professionally and I kind of want to maintain it as best as I can because obviously it is expensive to just constantly get your hair done and get it touched up so I try to maintain it as best I can to avoid having to go all the time. So I got these Rosehip Color Nurture Protecting Shampoo and Conditioner. Mainly I love these just because the smell, oh my god. I am a girl who just loves like strong shampoo and conditioner smells but yeah these were eight dollars each at marshall's um which is why i go there for my hair care because it's just so much cheaper this other thing that i have is a lip plumping mask um this my best friend actually got for me for my birthday it smells like like a minty gum <laughs> It has these cute little um, like hearts and glitter and everything in there. It's so cute. I can't say that this really plumps a lot. I tried it a few times and I didn't necessarily know, notice a difference. Well, that is all for the haul video. Thank you so much for watching. And again, I'll try to link as much stuff as I can um, in the description. And then also I will have my promo codes for Dossier and Laya the Label as well. Um, down below too if you were interested in checking them out. You can follow me on Instagram if you'd like. I'm pretty active on my stories there. I will have my Instagram down below as well. And uh, yeah, let me know any videos that you want to see. That's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!